Good morning, everybody. It's a really wonderful day here in Grand Forks, British Columbia. And I thought that I would uh, spend the morning um, playing with my hurdy gurdy. So, one of the things that we're going to talk about here is the hurdy gurdy I'm going to play. It's not a real hurdy gurdy, it's a children's puzzle piece made by U Gears, which is Ukrainian Gears Company. You guessed it, they're in the Ukraine. And it's a mass produced item. It uh, comes in a box of about eight sheets of very thin laser cut plywood, where basically all you need to do is follow the instructions. And the instructions are basically a bunch of pictographs explaining how to assemble this musical instrument. And along the way, uh, you need to do a fair amount of sanding of various bits and pieces. You also have to put some wax on uh, the bushings and the gears so that they can move smoothly. And I think if you go through YouTube, you'll find a whole bunch of videos where people have made beautiful looking instruments, but unfortunately, they just don't work. And I think that's because the instructions aren't very clear on exactly what parts of the instrument you need to put extra detail into. My machine came uh, like any other in the box. It took me about four hours to assemble it and it was a lot of fun. Um, I gotta say I've, I've never put together too many puzzles of any description so putting this one together was very very rewarding. The instrument itself actually is incredibly detailed as far as the parts and pieces of a real hurdy-gurdy. For example, we have an adjustable bridge, the bridge being the uh, front part of any stringed instrument, be it a guitar, be it a hurdy-gurdy, be it a violin or all that, which allows you to adjust the string height. On a hurdy-gurdy, this is incredibly important because it adjusts the amount of tension that these strings are under as they ride on the wheel. The wheel on my kit was anything but round. So remember I said I put about four hours into assembling this. I've got another four hours with a razor and a chisel making my wheel round to the point where it wasn't moving up and down causing the wow effect nor was it moving sideways, but you know, sideways is easy to correct because none of this is glued. This entire instrument is held together with friction and pins and blocks and it's just, what can I say? If you really want to have fun, buy it yourself. I'll leave a link to Amazon where you can purchase this kit yourself if you want to. But getting back to uh, the details of it, um, it's really fantastic uh, in that we've got that adjustable bridge. At the same time, we've got this really wonderful gear assembly for the um, tuning of the strings. Um, there's got to be, I'd say, eight or so gears in there. The tuning pegs themselves you have to assemble. Um, they're friction fit in there, held in with pins. Uh, in the key box, we go for the ultimate of uh, complicated. Uh, we've got a set of cams and levers underneath each key and an elastic that wraps around those cams, little hooks on them, that actually gives us return on the keys. This is kind of an interesting feature because the original hurdy-gurdies didn't have a return function. They had to be played in this position and gravity would return the keys that you've pressed back to a neutral position to be played again. Um, they've also gone out of their way to install an elastic uh, shock absorber so when you release the key it reduces the amount of sound that it would make hitting a raw wood surface. So that's kind of uh, an interesting thing they've done there. The tangents, which are the actual pieces attached to the key that make contact with the string 
to give you the note that you're trying to play, are not adjustable, and as you guessed, they're made out of wood. It's kind of a drawback to this machine, and you'll hear that a little later when I actually play for you. Um, we'll get to the playing in a minute. But um, the detail and the workmanship and the amount of creativity that went into this uh, from the designer is amazing. One of the other things that they've done is they've given us a quick and easy way to deactivate the drone string. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, hurdy-gurdies, hurdy-gurdies usually have one or two drone strings. They'll have one or two chantrels, which is your melody string, that's the ones you control with the keys, and then they'll have a horn or two, which is another set of strings, which as you're cranking, if you give a little extra, <clears throat> you get that rhythmic buzzing sound, which is very characteristic of hurdy-gurdy music. Um, we, of course, don't have that here on this kit, and I really don't miss it. Uh, I'm hoping one day to have a real hurdy-gurdy. Uh, I've been kicking tires at various manufacturers. It looks like it's about a two or more year wait to get a quality hurdy-gurdy crafted for you right now. And unfortunately, hurdy-gurdies aren't manufactured by, you know, Yamaha or any of the big uh, name brand uh, instrument makers uh, because they really are a niche instrument. They are becoming a little bit more popular now thanks to uh, certain individuals who have really great uh, uh, YouTube channels and also um, the fact that they're starting to find their way into uh, metal music. Uh, good examples of that would be like uh, Scardust, Illuvati, Aelstrom, Stormseeker, etc., etc. You can do your own search and if that's the sort of thing that you're into. But getting back to uh, this instrument, um, I'm going to play it for you here in just a minute, but we're going to have to tune it up. And in the instructions, they want you to tune this to a D. And uh, let's put it this way it doesn't use gut strings which are literally made of the guts of animals that's been used for centuries and they're not a metal string um, we're using good old-fashioned regular fishing line on this particular model and it works better than it really has any right to work and that's okay it's it's fun it's it's really you know for what it is 80 Canadian dollars delivered you know, if you're looking to waste some time and make some noise, here it is. But the tuning. I tune this one to an A. And why A? Well, it works for this machine. The D did not. Um, this thing was making creaking and groaning sounds, and I thought for sure this uh, uh, string holder at the front was going to snap off. And we're just going to keep it a little simpler. So how do you tune it? Well, there's multiple different ways, but what I do is use the lever to disable the drone string, and we're going to tune the melody string to an A. Um, and yeah, I downloaded a uh, free app on my phone. It's uh, just called Guitar Tuner. Don't have to do anything fancy. Launch the app, and uh, it right away launches, shows you what it's hearing. And it's always hearing something, including my voice, which apparently is floating around a B and D and whatever. But anyway, we twist the crank, and that's the magic of a hurdy-gurdy. We twist the crank, the wheel spins, the wheel's got rosin on it, and it makes the string vibrate. Yes, I put cotton on it. If you want to know why there's cotton on my string, you can do another quick little research about making your gurdy sound the best it can. <laughs> and this machine needs all the help it can get. So here we go. We're going to tune this. We're just going to see where we are right now. And that I would never have believed. It has held perfectly the A from last time I tuned it, which would have been about uh, 13 hours ago. But okay. 
Now we do the drone string. We're tuning the drone string in this case, which is not really the case for a real hurdy-gurdy, also to that same note. So we're going to use the ear and find when those two strings are perfectly in pitch. Let's take a quick listen and see what it sounds like. Oh, that's bad. Okay. So there's no strapping option on this instrument, by the way, so you got to kind of jam it between your rib and your and your leg so it doesn't walk away on you. And away we go. And you know what? That's about as close as this machine's going to get. Now you may or may not have heard that pitch changing until it became just one solid note. That's what we're after. And if you get it there, you're close enough. Now, if this was a real hurdy-gurdy, like I said, we'd be going for a completely different tuning. Going to save that possibly for a different video. We might try it on this one. We're definitely going to do it when we get a real hurdy-gurdy, but for now, that's what I found works best for this toy. I mean, instant. Didn't mean to insult it there. So, how do you play it? Well, you twist the crank. That's our open note. That's an A. We've got six keys. Gives us a total of seven playable notes. And, uh, you know, if you're wanting to learn how to play it, you can do it by ear. This ins ah can't speak. The assembly instructions do come with play by numbers. Um, you can watch an awful lot of YouTube videos. There's some really great lessons available out there. But let's uh, let's see what we can do here. That's about as far as I'm going to take it in this video. hope that's not a disappointing video for you to watch. I have an awful lot more learning to do with this. We're going to see if we can come up with some more creative uh, music to play. But you know what? Thanks for watching. If there's anything that you want to ask or comment on, leave it in the comment section below. That's after all what it's for. You can also do that on Facebook where I'm going to put this on my personal page. And once again, thanks for putting up with that first video. That's not how I want to launch my YouTube channel. But uh, see you in the future. Like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. But again, thanks for watching.